everybody, Beauty Holly coming at you with another video. Um, today we will be reviewing the Bobbi Brown um, Skin Long Wear Weightless Foundation with the SPF for 15 and this full coverage oil free shine control foundation. I finally got my hands on this you guys. Um, I had to go out of state to get it. <laughs> Um, I went to a couple of Sephora's in my area and they didn't have it and so we went to go see my daughter for my birthday and uh, I got it from there. But anyway, the color is Warm Walnut 7.5. I know you're not going to be able to see that but it is Warm Walnut 7.5. The girl who did the, um, who did the, um, color match on me she started off with 6.0 which I felt it looked a little it looked ashy on me it was it was light she was trying to match my chest and it was really light now my mistake that I think I did was I didn't let it let it stay on long enough because it could oxidize I'm not for sure if uh I know I've seen a lot of um uh, videos on the foundation but I couldn't remember if they said that the foundation oxidized or not so what happened was she she did the 6.0 and then she did the 7.5 and to me that just looked better it just looked like it matched it went in it blended in really well but the 6.0 was um, I just felt that it was too light I really did I felt that it was too light and then once I got home and tried this one, I was like, oh my God, it looks red. So we're going to try this again. This won't be a first impression for me, but it will be for you guys. And I really, really need your help on this. Y'all know I've been struggling with trying to find the um, right color in all the foundations that I've been reviewing. It's just been ridiculous so i really 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 need your opinion on this foundation so again this is the bobby brown um skin long wear weightless foundation with the spf for 15 again the color is warm walnut 7.5 um the glass is a pretty it's a frosty color frost color type glass and it's very heavy um if you drop it, it won't break, I don't think. It has a pump on it. Nothing special about it. It's just plain Jane to me. Um, yeah, it's nothing special about it. So, what I want to do now is to uh, moisturize my face. And I'm going to be using the Origin Ginseng uh, Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. I'm going to be using this. And y'all, this smells so good. Uh, I may insert a picture of it so you can see the bottle and everything on it. But you, you don't need a lot of it at all. You just need a little bit. So um, I have been really enjoying um, this moisturizer. So yeah, it was my birthday on April the 15th. Um... If you follow me on Instagram, you saw the pictures and everything that I posted. Um, I had dinner with my kids here on Friday night, and uh, that was a lot of fun. And then uh, me and my husband, we took off early that Saturday morning to go see uh, my baby because she wanted to spend time with me for my birthday as well. So, you know, I couldn't let her down. <laughs> Okay, so for a uh, primer, I'm just going to use one heck of a blot. Y'all know this is my go-to primer along with Becca, and I am like out. I need to go, I need to get some more Becca, uh, some more of this like today. I am out of that. So, yeah, I usually use these two together. And they really, uh, on the one heck of a block, by Soap and Glory, I think it's by Soap and Glory, isn't it? Is this by, yeah, Soap and Glory. Um, they come, they actually say this is a great dupe for the Becca primer. So, why not put them together, you know? So, 
So again, um, I'm just not for sure about this foundation. Um, we're going to try it again. And see what it does. And I'm going to use a, uh, I think I'm going to use a sponge with it. I think I like the application with the sponge a lot better. So I'm going to shake this up. And y'all know about this foundation. Basically, it says it's a full long wear coverage that looks and feels like skin, not masky, heavy, or cakey. This high performance oil free formula creates a poreless, shine free finish with incredible, comfortable day to night wear. Um, silky emulsions of true to skin pigments, hydrating emollients, and wear extended, extended ingredients floats over the skin and delivers fit. Flexible, breathable coverage. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, instantly mattifies oily skin for a natural look that is never dull, never dry, dull, or flat. It helps minimize oil throughout the day and reduces the appearance of pores over time. Stay fresh all day and into the night with coverage that lasts even in hot, humid climates. Prime skin with moisturizer, then apply foundation with brush, sponge, or fingers. Shake well before use. So that's what we're going to do. And yeah. So. And I'm using a couple of new products, but we're not going to get into that. We're just going to stick with the foundation. And uh, yeah. So here we go. We got one, two, three. We're going to do three pumps today. And we're just going to see. And that's the color. Can y'all see that? That's the color. And um, she was trying to give me like a, um, I'm going to do one side first and let you see that. She was trying to do like a, uh, match me a yellow base because I told her I was and she said she could look at my skin and tell I was yellow base. But um, oh, I forgot to prime my skin with, oh well. Okay, so here goes. Let's try this. Okay, I think I need a little bit more. Okay, so what do y'all think so far? I don't think I, I think I have, yeah, I think I've got it in there pretty good. What do y'all think? I don't know. Um, I'm going to put a couple more pumps for the other side. And we're going to have at it here.
here we go. Um, in the viewfinder, it looks red. This looks like a pinkish reddish type color. I don't know. Hopefully, it'll oxidize and it'll look better because when I wore it the first time, um, actually, I wore it on my birthday. It um, it it oxidized and it looked like it looked okay. And I may insert a picture of. If I remember, I will insert a picture so that you can see uh, what it looked like um, that night when I applied it. So, um, I don't know. We, we will see. Um, I'm going to go ahead. What time is it? It is 10.53. Um get myself together um, and then I will come back and let you see what it looks like um, and hopefully by then it, it will have oxidized and it will look better because right now to me in the viewfinder it looks a little pinkish you know I am really struggling with foundations y'all I, I I don't know I, I don't know I just don't I don't I don't know what's going on but um, yeah, so let me go ahead and complete this look and then I'll come back and let you see the finished look. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Bye. Hey, everybody. Beauty Holly coming back at you with the finished look using the Bobbi Brown Skin Long Wear Weightless Foundation with SPF of 15. Um, I, again, am in the color Warm Walnut 7.5. So what do y'all think after I did the finished look? I am, I just sprayed my face and I got something. Hold on y'all. Oh my God. Oh. I sprayed my face with the, uh, what is this? The Too Faced Peach Mist. And yeah. Okay. Whatever. If y'all see something white on my face, that's what it is. It's that spray. But anyway, y'all, I, um, what do y'all think? I just need y'all opinions. I need y'all to communicate with me and just let me know what y'all think. Because I think it looks pretty good that I'm in the mirror, from the mirror. But in the viewfinder, I look ashy. But in this mirror, I look good. You know, it looks like it's a good match. Um, I think it did oxidize, not a whole lot, but a little bit, enough to where, you know, I'm happy with it. So, I'm not going to return it and get a lighter color, um, because I think this is, this is perfect. Um, yeah, I just think that 6.0 is too light, and then 6.5 was reddish, and then 7 was red, and then 7.5 went back to a little bit of yellow, yellowish or golden color, so I think I'm going to stick with that, but um, I think it looks pretty good, I really do, the foundation went on very easily, I used the sponge, and it went on very easily, um, it dries really fast, so you really have to work with it. It is, it did dry down to a matte finish, just as the box said it would. It did dry down to a matte finish, um, and it's still matte, okay? And so, uh, yeah, I, I am really liking the look. Now, I used a new um, concealer, and it kind of threw me off my game because, which concealer was it? Where is it? Hold on, y'all. It was the, um, oh my goodness, where is it? Um, okay, oh, here it is. I used the, uh, Revolution Concealer and Define. I used this, and this is in the color C12. And, um, uh, that concealer, to me, was really light. I had to darken it with another concealer. And I kind of had some issues with that. And I think that's kind of what's making me look ashy in the uh, viewfinder. And I feel like if I take a picture, it's going to be just straight up flashback at you. I mean, it's going to be, 
yeah, it's going to be ugly. But as far as the foundation and everything, I really, really, really think I like this foundation. Now, we'll see when I check in a little bit later today. But right now, I really like it. And again, the application was really nice. Um, again, it dries down really easily. So you really have to, once you put it on, you got to get, you got to start working. Um, and it does dry down. I know I'm repeating myself, but it does dry down to a matte finish. Um, I would say it is a full coverage. Um, and I would say that you could build with it. You really can build with it. Um, the purpose of this is for that you can use it to where it won't look cakey or feel heavy on your skin. And it doesn't. It doesn't feel like I have any foundation on. So that's a plus as well. So, um, yeah, y'all. And the cost of the foundation, I pay, um, it was $46. It was $46 for the foundation from Sephora. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, what I'm going to do is um, check back in with you guys a little bit later. Um, I think I, clock <clears throat> I clocked it at 10.53, I believe it was. Um, and I'm going to come back a little bit later. I will be out running errands today. So, um yeah, I will be out in the elements and we'll see how it holds up. Supposedly, it holds up well in humid humidity and heat and all of that. So, this is like the perfect foundation. You know what I'm saying? It's oil-free. It says it's oil-free, oil-free shine control, full coverage. Won't make you look or feel cakey. Won't feel heavy. I mean, what more can you ask from a foundation? You know, that's just everything all of us women would love in a foundation. So, we're going to see how it holds up. And um, I definitely will be getting back with you guys a little bit later today. So, enjoy uh, your day, your night, your evening, whatever time of the day it is for you. And I will be back in a bit. Bye. Hey, everybody. Beauty Holly coming at you with a check-in. Um, the makeup is looking really, really good. Um, it looks, it looks good, but I look red. I don't know. I look red, I think, but hey, it looks good. It's still pretty much, um, matte for the most part, and my nose is kind of shining through, but it looks good. So, this is check-in number one, and the time is 257 257 so i will see you guys later bye hey everybody beauty holly coming back at you with the final check-in oh my god as always i forget my phone give me one second Okay, y'all, it is 8.44, 8.44, and as you can see, the makeup uh, did this pretty good. This did extremely well. I must say, I really, really do like the foundation. Um, I will put a clip of the second um, check-in, which was outside with sunlight and everything, and so you can kind of see more of what the shade looks like on me um yeah i like the foundation to to be honest i really do i like the foundation i like the application it's lightweight it feels really good going on um you have to work really fast with it because it does dry matte it does dry very matte and you have to really start working so uh, it's probably best to do one side at a time and then go over to the other because it dries really fast. And um, the foundation looks awesome. Um, I had this on since 10, I think it was 10.53 when I clocked it the first time. And it is now 8.44, so that's almost like, that's eight hours. 
that I've had this foundation on and it feels good. It feels like I have nothing on my face. Literally, it feels like I have nothing on my face. It is very, very lightweight and it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel cakey. It doesn't look cakey. Um, it is buildable. Um, it breathes. I can, I, my face just feels awesome. Um, it feels like skin. I mean, you know, it feels like skin. Now, it didn't say anything about transfer. Um, it has very little transfer on it, but it does transfer. But it didn't claim that on the box. So, um, that's just something that I did. But, um, I love the foundation. To be honest with you, I really, really do. I think I'm going to keep it. Um, again, I am the shade Warm Walnut 7.5. This again is the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation um, Full Coverage or Free Shine Control. And Shine Control it is. Now my nose kind of was shining, but I think when I did the second check-in, which you will see a clip of, um, you probably saw that already. My nose was a little shiny, but to be honest, I think that was just the sunlight. I, I, I don't really, because I never did block. I never did blot or anything like that. And I just really, I really like this foundation. I, I really do. This is one of the, found, one of, I think it's going to be one of my favorites, to be honest. Um, yeah, I really like this. I really, really, really like this foundation. <laughs> so I give it two thumbs up. I really do. I, I like it. Um. I really don't have any negative negative thoughts about it. Um, to be honest with you, the only thing is it just dries too fast. But, I mean, if that's going to keep your face matte all day, oh well. I mean, I'll just work in sections of my face. I'm fine with that. Um, it's just a plain Jane bottle. No big deal. It does have a pump. Um... I don't really have anything negative to say about the foundation, to be honest. I don't remember how many shades it was. Um, oh, y'all have any earrings on? <laughs> Sorry. It's been a long day. Um, yeah, I, I really don't have anything negative to say about this foundation, to be honest with you. I really, really like this foundation. I, um... Uh, this is my second time wearing it, and um, I definitely will be wearing it all weekend long um, just to get a feel for it. But I like it. I really do like it. So, y'all give me some feedback and let me know what y'all think um, from both of the uh, the check-in, the, the second check-in and this one and the first application of it just let me know what you think about the shade what you think about the foundation talk to me y'all talk to me let me know what y'all think okay thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me y'all please be blessed be well and be you and i will see you guys in the next video bye